Yeah, I mean, first, it's kind of neat. We started out obviously with more than two seniors when you know four years ago, and these um, two have have gone through thick and thin to to get where they are. And uh, I mean, it, it, it's a it's a feat, you know. That there's a lot of things that have happened in the past four years that. Um, have made them stronger and that they've become great leaders of this program. So I'm proud of what, you know, this was a great meet for them to finish up it in our pool. Um, you know, Utica is a meet that we, we've always done after our training trip, so um, we never really know what we're going to get time wise. This year I, I threw three meets in four days. Um, it's a little test run. We've always done back-to-back -back Utica Hartwick or Utica Lemoyne or Lemoyne Hartwick or whatever, but um, we've always gone back-to-back -back trying to get mentally and physically beat up a little bit ready, um, you know, a little bit of strength gain there as we go into our taper and, and our championship meet. And, and last year I felt like we were not where we need to be mentally for a four-day championship meet. So the opportunity arose this year to throw three meets in four days. I said, sure, let's, let's give that a shot. So they're tired. I, I was pleasantly surprised with their times today and, 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 a, and on Wednesday. Um, I don't know that we've ever performed as well after a training trip, and, and they're beat up. So um, I'm pretty happy, and I'm, I'm really excited that they were able to get, you know, the first, the seconds, the, 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 the victories here and there. But um, I'm, I'm just really happy with where we're at right now. I think, first of all, it was just a big morale booster <laughs> since we've been kind of beaten up the last few weeks. So it was definitely really good to get a win under our belt, especially for the seniors too, and then um, having it be the last home meet. So it was a it was a good like spirit lifter, I guess. Um, yeah, we had a lot of one and twos and one and three finishes, which was really good. I don't know how the times were around the board. I know it was probably, they were a little rough since we're pretty tired, but we were able to dig deep and pull out some pretty decent times. I know I did um, pretty close to a season best in the 50 again today, so that was nice. Um, Bethany, our diver, did really well. She had her best on Wednesday, and then I think she beat that again today. So it's cool to see stuff like that, especially like in this part of the season where we're all pretty tired. It feels good. I mean, especially because it's our senior meet, you know, you kind of want to like ring it in with a lot of positivity. Um, we've kind of gotten a a beating the past couple weeks training in Florida and several meets this week and um, we'll you know be on the road again tomorrow and uh, next week we're you know always going it seems like so it's kind of cool that even though we're tired and you know this is Kelsey and I's fourth year and we've had injuries and illness and all that we can kind of just bring it in real strong and finish out you know what we started um, you know it's it's actually a great feeling to come out with a win after all our hard work and you know it, it makes it all worth it in the end Sure. We, we've been doing double practices for about two two weeks, you know, ever since we got back together uh, a week and a half or whatever it's been. Um, and we're going to continue doing that for another week, working pretty hard. Um, we go into like a pre-taper phase where their bodies adjust to uh, maybe doing a little bit less. We're going to kind of uh, wean off the, the weights and the dry land and um, start getting into speed specific things and, and race specific things over the next four weeks um, and like I said a few minutes ago I, I don't think that I've had a team that's better prepped to do well at that championship meet um, and, and I've said this before this year we've had you know talent come and go and, and we've done well and this and that but this team has worked really hard and I think each one of those individuals is going to see results um, that they want to see and you know, they're going to accomplish great things. Really just keeping the energy going and then at this point making sure we're really treating our bodies right and keeping our spirits up as we have like these last few meets and then you know taper will start so it'll start the practices will at least get a little bit easier and um, then it's just kind of you just keep going <laughs> until then we have about 30 days left so it's really just about staying together as a team and keeping that energy going until the last big meet. We have a long road ahead of us. I think it's 31 days from now. We'll be getting on the bus uh, and heading to 
um, states. So, you know, we got probably a couple more weeks of real hard work and then we'll kind of slip into a taper from there, um, which, you know, we are all very excited for. Um, but, you know, we really have to focus and keep our, you know, eye on the prize throughout this because we all have goals. We want to go to states and swim fast. Um, and I think that we've been working really hard. So just to keep that up so it translates into, you know, the states meet and you know hopefully there's national qualifiers i know chris already did um so it's really excited to just continue with what we're doing staying hydrated in the weight room working hard in the pool i mean that's all integral to what we're trying to do here